Yeah, so there's a backstory to this. My wife is pregnant, obviously. And um, so she's been hearing about these reveal parties, like you find out the gender and you want to, you don't want to know, and you do the cake, you have take it to a baker on a piece of paper, and they color it, dye the inside of the cake, and when you cut it, they reveal the gender. Oh, okay. So you have this whole party about it. So she wanted to do that, but her parents moved to Tennessee, and I was like, well, that would be more fun if we could like let family members who are out of state or whatever share with it. So we had this idea of making a baby reveal website, and it's just a marketing page. It lets you sign up, and then it gives you your own subdomain. Like, this is test. And then it just starts a countdown. <laughs> nice. And so... Test baby. Test baby. Not test two. Test. I mean, you, you, can, you can kind of vote, and you can see what your family members oh, okay. are polling. And this Twitter feed runs on delayed jobs, and uh, will every 30 seconds to a minute update to tr a hashtag. You can define your hashtag, so... Your friends can tweet about it, sign the guest book, and it sends out like a two-hour warning email when it's a two-hour warning, and then the actual gender will has a nice email template. So this is like, and we did all responsive for the most part. It's, this was kind of, we were coding it. We had 24 hours to get it done last Friday, and we were kind of like, okay, we have 24 hours to actually make it reveal the gender. <laughs> it didn't actually work yet. Um, so this is something, like, you could take this in and just set the gender, and then it's done. And then, um, I gotta fix that. So you, you do this all in 24 hours? No, we started it on Wednesday, and it was done by Saturday morning. That's pretty sweet. What are you using for, uh, like, uh, like Bootstrap, or, I can't tell. Theming? Yeah. Theming's all custom. Wow. And then, um... Who designed it? Yeah. Uh, our designer at Westlake. Okay. Oh, that was nice. And it's also running on Spud, of course. So Spud's handling all the user authentication and all that you administration Spud, stuff. I'm yeah. What? Can you explain Spud? Spud is basically uh, my attempt at a CMS. Actually, a lot of us because I really hate Refinery. Okay. And it's more modular. Like, I guess I could do the whole rant. There's a video on NDRV. Thank you. I will find the video. And there's um, a demo site, Spud Demo. Dot redwind .com. It's more modular, so <laughs> you don't even need a CMS. It's not even necessarily a CMS. If you just want the user authentication and a nicely themed admin panel, you just install Spud Core and then add your own engines. It has like hooks to, for you to add your own apps to the admin dashboard. Pretty nifty. But it, it kind of brings stuff like this down to just actually working on this and not working on the uh, functionality. Response view on this as a result of flying by the seat of your pants here. Um, I'm going to change the date so we can actually see what it does. So, are you having a boy or a girl? Uh, I am having a boy. Woo! All right. Revealed. <laughs> oh. Not long to say it anymore. Oh. <laughs> You, need, you definitely need confetti. Yeah, you need the firework gifts. I know. <laughs> Three days. Three days, guys. As a matter of fact, like the time until reveal label needs to go away, too. So, but yeah, it worked really well. It had like 300 hits on the actual reveal date, which nice. was ridiculous. I did not expect that. So, we're kind of just trying to make it so anyone can use it and see what happens. So how did this work? You were having a, a party, but you wanted people from out of town? Well, we didn't actually the have the party time? because, okay. like, the only people that were in. All of our friends are pretty much in Tennessee, D.C., sh Chicago, so we just set the site up and like we had some family members over and just let it go off on a Saturday. People were on Skype. It was fun. Cool. It was kind of you email the uh, baby magazine people. There's lots of them. <laughs> They'll run it. They'll get, make a million dollars tomorrow. Yeah, so it's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you need blocks. to get some ads on there first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and put it on like a room. Well, I don't. I don't think we're gonna do ads. ads. I think we, we might actually do like a beta free for a while, and then do like a ninety nine cent fee or something cheap. First baby. Yeah. <laughs> <First baby's free. laughs> <laughs> if it's twins, it's like extra. Yeah, or like it does all the wedding registries too. Here's mine. Or not wedding registry, baby registries. And uh, 
So we might, like, you could always negotiate with them to get them to advertise it and do some promo. Yeah, like uh, affiliate link to Amazon there. Totally. Yeah. There you go. Just yeah, the bump.com. There you go. Sell it to them. We thought about that too. I added the share buttons with add this and like this is called the uh, five second I need to share feature. I don't know if you guys use it, but it's getting better. I thought it was kind of crappy before. It's a good way to put it. It's getting better. <laughs> yeah, I can see people like putting this on their Facebook, you know, whatever. Yeah, you need a Facebook app. Yeah, eighty yeah, percent of the traffic was from Facebook, and I was like, well, I guess I got to implement Facebook. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so. Get Another 100 room. hours, you can uh, turn this over. It's got a bump or something. Yeah. So that's, that's what we're trying to do, see how it goes. It's kind of fun. Do you guys make your own email templates then, too? Mm hmm. Uh, I'm trying to think of where one would be right now. You know, if you managed to get one of the invites, you could have used a uh, real thing. <laughs> True. I think your, your guys' design is very nice. Oh, thank you. I didn't do it. I didn't design it. Someone thought it was really fun. And just kept working on it. So it's like, yes, yes, we're working. That's awesome. Here we go. That's nice. Yeah. Beautiful. So, we have the giraffes. And is this is kind of like what a two hour yeah. warning would look like. And that actually caused everyone to actually get on the site. Are you so going to add the uh, future for twins and triplets? Yeah, we thought about that too. That's, that's going to be fun. You can have yeah. to have like uh, counter buttons. <laughs> two, two boys and one girl. Yeah. And just a whole bunch of banners or like some slashes. <laughs> it's a boy slash boy slash girl. I reveal them at different times. Yeah. Baby it, was fun. One. it was a fun project though. I, I, I think that's probably one of the first few projects where I'm actually coding functionality in as it's actually live, at, you know, on a time limit. Like, so, for example, it, I think when it first came up, it had two days on the counter, and the counter didn't count down seconds yet. So we knew we had like 24 hours to get it to go under when it went less than a day. So, and that's all using um, CSS3 animations. So that, was, that was fun. So, yep, there's uh, my little website that Miles decided to rant about in his email. It's almost good. So, well played. Like you take a real bite sized piece of something you want to do and just do it. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. I was like, I'm just going to do it. That's right. There are a ton of good ideas out there. You just got to do them sometimes. Yeah. 